Hi, welcome to our 30 minute YouTube pop sugar bar class. So not necessarily in that order. <laughs> welcome, I've been reading your comments. I really, I recognize so many of you. Kevin, Kevin F, hi. Oh, it's Steph, oh I got you, okay great. Um, I'm loving reading your comments and for those of you that I don't know or that haven't um, done this workout with me yet, my name's Marnie Alton. I'm the founder of Embody by Marnie Alton and the workout today is gonna be a low impact bar workout. So the only equipment you're gonna need is gonna be a stable surface or a ballet bar. So what that can be for you is the back of the couch or a chair back or um, a countertop. I love something that can be stable. So if you do pick a chair, make sure it's one that's quite heavy. And if not, just finding something close to your waist height. And that's gonna happen for probably about half the class. We're not even gonna hit the floor for knees or anything. So if you don't have a mat, you don't even need that. And shoes are also optional. So the way that we train is typically barefoot, unless your sensitivity changes that for you. So the reason that we train barefoot is so that we recognize that life does not end at our ankles and that there is some stretch and strengthening happening through your foot as well. So that's what a dancer does and we're gonna do that. We'll warm up your feet and we'll move through. I'll give you options. I'll start all of the exercises showing the no impact option and then I'll add on some low impact options. So nothing's gonna be too intense, no giant jumps, but we're definitely gonna do small sautés and jetés just to keep the feet and your body active, to activate through your core so we get some standing core work as well. But mindful that that mild impact is only optional and I'll be really clear about it as well. Also, this um, workout will be saved to Pop Sugar's YouTube channel. So if you're loving some of the choreography and we're moving through it and you're like, I wanna revive or like revisit that, check that out, feel free to do it. You can go back and redo the workout over and over, um, anything that you want. Also, if you need to find me or if you need more information, you can find me at Embody by Marnie Alton. That's on Instagram, Marnie Alton on Instagram. And you can find me at Embody online. We have a seven day free trial right now. So if you love this workout, out, come get your free trial. Alrighty, let's do this. So what you want to do is really just find yourself in the room. And what that means is notice your floor, notice how far your walls are from you, notice you can reach up, you have some space here. And then tune into your body. So you start feeling that all that tightness and tension in your shoulders has an opportunity to just sort of release down. And we hold on to things quite tightly, right? We hold on to old patterns and habits, sometimes old relationships, old ideas. Sometimes we just kind of hold on for dear life. Let's shake that out. And then once you've got the shoulders and hands soft with the jaw, start thinking about relax. Start thinking about relaxing your hips and really letting a rotation of your inner thigh turn your knee out as you bounce from foot to foot very lightly. Take two big breaths. One more big breath. So we're oxygenating and opening up your low abdominal cavity. Turn your feet parallel, hinge at your hips. Then you wanna pull your heart forward and your sit bones back. Eight counts, one, two. Speed that run up. It is this vibration that creates the heat that is gonna get you strong. Bring your legs tight together. Bring your feet all the way to touch. Inhale your arms skyward. Keep your heart up. Bring your hands down behind you. Square your hips and shoulders. Bring your right foot forward, flex your foot. Ooh, catch yourself. Point your foot one more time. That's the beauty of this single leg balance. Your body will self-calibrate. It'll start activating in the spaces that may still be asleep. They'll wake up. Circle your foot one way. Circle it the other way. Touch your feet to the floor. Inhale your arms skyward. Drop your shoulders, hold to your right wrist. You wanna stretch to the side of your body so we can be dynamic. Tuck under more, really bend into it, surrender to the side, other arm. So you hold to your wrist to feel that you're lifting out of your hip and then bend to the side, tuck under. If you're just joining us, welcome. If you've never met me before, my name is Marnie Alton. We're doing a low impact 30 minute bar workout today, opening your throat. So this can feel a little vulnerable emotionally sometimes. Think of this center, right? Where your heart and your lungs live, where your throat is. These are all vulnerable but powerful areas. We need to open them up. So this is one option, what I'm doing with my hands. Stay in that if that's good for you. Choose option to bring your hands to your low back, pull your elbows in, or reach your hands to the floor. If it's better for your neck to tuck your chin, keep it tucked. Otherwise, open up together. Let's surrender four counts. One, 
We stayed a little longer in this today to really get the mobility. Reach forward and down. Bend one knee and the other. Shake and nod your head. Can you feel a release of tension between your shoulder blades? Inhale your back flat. Push your sit bones out. Prioritize keeping your knees straight and your spine long, maybe your hands to your thighs. Bend your uh, chest forward. Tuck your chin so your forehead comes closer towards your legs. Bend your knees, keeping that round shape. Roll up until you're straight. Bring your arms overhead. Oxygenate with a big gulp of air, then breathe out as you drop. So if this is your first time doing a rolling hangover with me, this is one of our M-Body signature moves. That jump that I just did, that is only optional. So this class will have an option to be done fully low impact and even no impact, but I'll give you little soft landings as an option throughout. One of four. So I'm showing you both alternating that's two. You're at three. One more. Bring your arms out to second position and touch your heels to first. Then from there, roll to your right toenails and bring your right arm up. Stretch from your toe to your hand and other side. So we're really acknowledging the importance of your foot and that dancer stretch to the joints of your toes, the metatarsals in the bones of your feet. Open up, right leg out, touch your heels eight times. Two. So you're warming up the hinge of your ankle. Five. As you keep both knees straight and use your stomach to maintain the alignment of your hips. Bring your arms down, bra ba. Other side, touch your heels eight times. Three, press your shoulders down from your ears. This is where we acknowledge the inner dancer. Plie. Then from there, bring your arms to fifth. Shift your feet parallel. Lift your heels up and down. So these calf raises strengthen your calf, but they're also stretching up the back of your leg and activating your glutes and your core. If it feels too sensitive to have your arms what's called fifth position, bring them down to prayer and press your shoulders away from your ears. Eight more. Here's a fun fact, your calf is actually the muscle responsible for pumping blood from your low body to your heart. So hold and feel your calf. Spread your toes, can you feel air between the webbing? Really expanding the roots of your body. Eight counts, one, two, three, four. We're gonna dance in a second, six. Step your feet out a little bit wider, drop down, up. First priority, really important, is that your toes, your shoulders, your hips, and your knees are faced forward. Second, feel that all four corners of your foot are really gripping the floor. Big toe, pinky toe, inner heel, outer heel. That's how we're gonna stay safe around the knee as we get a little deeper. Next thing to check out, keep your heart up, drop lower. So your hands can go to your legs. You're hinging your hips without rounding your back. You can bring your hands all the way forward and back. That's the dance as an option. Here's a leg option. Go down. Right leg up. So now we're warming up from the medial to the lateral line. Do your hips four more. Keep your knee bent. We're at two. That's three. Now pull your right leg back, then left. So here's no impact. You're just kicking up to lengthen the front of your thigh. Activate your glutes. Or add a little bounce. That's just an option. Eight times. One, two. We're at four. Six, seven, bring your right knee up. Up, now breathe out as that happens. Option, add a little jump, four times, one, two, three. Switch sides, standing knee soft, or a little jump, eight, two. Bring your knee slightly higher, we're at six. Then from there, one, then the other arm up. So that's the option with no impact. Sensitive shoulders, no impact. Or straight up. That's a little more bounce for the fascia. Back sensitive shoulders with impact. Eight more. Four. We're gonna start at the top. Feet wide and parallel, drop low. So prioritize those points of reference we spoke of. Option, add your leg four times. One. High up. Word three. Knees back. Back, option, no impact. Exhale on the back. Right knee up, four counts, one, two. Change sides. We're going a little quicker through it, this and the next time. 
and then either out and in, or single arms, or cross. Eight more than our last round here. Two, we wanna feel the red. You always use light therapy at Embody. Move down. It's to acknowledge the energy around us. This is red light energy, option at your legs. That's courage, that's fire, that's oxygen in your blood. Now pull back for eight. Three of eight. Two with no impact, but that's better. Right leg up, four, two, and switch, four. Now arms out and up. Just press or choose your option. Last 16 counts, one, two. Now, if your arms going up or to the side, keep your shoulders pulling back. Two of eight, three, four, five, six, seven. Step out, turn your knees out, bend your knees, open in your throat. First thing to check is that we're in alignment in second position. So lift your right heel. Now, if you feel like you're sliding out, which may translate into some tension on your inner upper hip insertion. With your heel releve, you should have your knee still wide as your ankle. So not more narrow, try it on the other side. Then from there, alternate. And then as you work your feet, and you check that your turnout is aligned to your second or third toe, the next thing we want to recognize is that you don't drop the crown, you keep it skyward, and we don't harden or hide your heart. The heart stays open. Thinking about that, how we arrive center stage, strong, elegant, open and connected. Four more. Now keep both heels down, keep the pulse, arms back. Start flicking your wrist behind you. Really pushing into the four corners of your foot again. Eight more, two, we're at four. Bend your elbows, then straighten them eight times. One. That's two. A little activation of the bicep and tricep. Continual wrapping of your rib cage in. Continual exhale from the power of your stomach. Now from there, hold. How far can you stretch your fingers? So you find yourself opening up, bring your right arm overhead. Back to that stretch. Center. Push your knees back further. Eight more. Two. We're at three. Four more like that. Five. Six. That's seven. Now from there, bend your elbows. Pull your knees behind you. Pull your elbows back. 16 times. So we're about to move to the ballet bar. Get close to it if you're not there yet. Eight more. We're preparing your postural body for the dance we're about to do. So your back stays active and strong. Bring your inner hand to the ballet bar, outer arm up, sink into your power. So we get low, then we come to passe, low, arabesque behind you, down, up. Both knees bend, bar legs straighten. Two more slow. So what we've done thus far in this workout is created a pattern and we've built on a foundation. And this way your body is learning. So this last, beyond this moment, option down, up. Now, if this speed up, sped up pace isn't of service to you and it either frustrates you or it takes you out of the moment, go slow again. And then come back to the workout and try it quick, perhaps, on a different day. Here's another option. Releve on your passe. Releve. Arabesque. One of four. Big deletic stretch. Two. Feeling that red from your feet to your hands. Three. Hold here. Hold. Lengthening your chest. Then from there, feel as though you have a string elevating your heart. Your foot pointed lift up 16 times. Little lift up, up of your leg. So we're also creating flexibility, such important flexibility for your spine. Eight more. 
You can use this outer hand to press your hip down. Five, six, you're at seven. Hold it up. Retuck your tail. That's a bar term. And it really think about it like, okay, I've had a tail. Tuck it under my legs. That's that sensation. It releases tension in your low back, creates duality for your glutes. Hold four counts. Two, three, flex your foot. Pull your heel into your seat. Stretch it out. Pull up. If you don't have a ballet bar, you can be doing this with a chair. You can be doing this with the back of a couch. You can do this with a counter. So you, all of those choices. You can also, if you really have nothing, like I've done this in rooms where I don't like hotel rooms when traveling. So this work can be done. Continue this motion against a wall. So what we're seeking is simply something to provide a sense of stability. For more like that, the other option is to play around with no ballet bar. That's playful. Two more like that. Keep your hip bones squared. One more just like that. Now point your foot, tap your foot to the floor, then up, up. So what you're feeling or what we're looking to feel is a small turnout of your knee, but a forward face moving of your hip because the rotation happens in a hip socket, which is a ball and socket joint, which it's naturally meant to do. 16 more, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, just eight more, just like that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring your leg behind you in a deep curtsy lunge. Lift your chest, pull your back knee up. Now this time, you wanna stay real low in that front leg. Pull this hip behind you so that you're not reaching forward over your toes. Last 16 counts, one. Two, this pull of your elbow is pumping blood through your heart and getting your oblique. Last eight, this bend of your knee is building bone density and creating strong lean legs. Seven, step out. Change your ballet bar to the other side or simply flip around. I just wanna do balance on the other side. Start out in second position. Open through your throat. Down, hold there. Find the four corners of your feet. Alternate heel lifts. So now we've already spent time getting the stretch and the posture. Eight more, one. So we get it more quickly on this side. And once we've got that, we can add on. Then from there, leg back, center, other leg back. That's the dance. Try that eight more times. One and two. Now, if you want more challenge, if you want brighter red, get lower, five, six, two more. One more like that. Pull your knees and arms back as you breathe out. Option, as you pull your arms and legs back, we add that bicep extension. One, two, three of eight, four of eight, five, six, seven, now just press back. Here are your three options before we hit the ballet bar for our final series. Dancing through the other side. So you wanna find another peak. If this is your peak, stay in it. Stay in control. If your peak is on releve, perhaps using the ballet bar, stay in it. If impact is good for your body, then you have the option. Final 16 crosses, we go out in two of eight. So you choose what's right for your body. That's the cool thing about working out at home. You just got yourself. It's you against you and you always win. Six, seven, lend hold. Feel that heat, that mobility, down low. Passe, find the control, arabesque. Three more slow. Passe up and then down, arabesque. Three more slow down. Toss it up, down, arabesque. One more slow, passe, lower. Stay slow or dance it out. Down, up, and arabesque. Your priority is maintaining that dancer's energy, that lift of your crown. Option, releve, up on your passe and lifting your chest, but not your shoulders. Four more. That's one. We're at two, can you get a little lower? 
because that gets an active dynamic stretch as well. So we're always sculpting, sweating, and stretching. Every class with me. We square your hips, so lift your leg up and down 16 times. Keep your standing knees soft. Feel the energy of red pulling up on your inner thighs so you're not collapsing. Eight more. Then that hold. Keep your foot pointed. Then from there, hold here. Redrop your hip. Pull your belly back in. Hold that. As without unleashing that, press your knee back until you feel the catching your glute. That's a glute. Flex your foot, straighten. Two of eight. Flex foot, affects the musculature of your legs to hips to abs to shoulders differently than a pointed foot. You need both. That's why I love working barefoot. Pull, point your foot, little up. Up. Can you tap the floor? And like a tot back up 16 times. Now thinking about how long you can make the space from your low rib out your toe. And then if your arm is up, how long you can make your space from your rib to your hand. Pull that deep bend. Wrap to fourth position. Bend your standing knee so both knees are bent. Bring your outer arm up. Here's our finale. Up. Exhale. Staying nice and low. And the detail is that weight is in your front right toe 16 times. Two, three, four. Remember, heart stays open. Last eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Step out, plie down, bring your right shoulder down. Enjoy that sensation. Bring your other shoulder down. Just stretch, expand. Then from here, open through your throat, open through your chest. We're gonna start the cool down, but still have energy. Hips to the side, then the other. So we're starting a little bit of a cool down. We'll have one more moment of flush. But we're coming out of the red. One, then the other. Eight more like that, one. So this internal rotation has been empowered by the ballet bar. Four more, five. We're at six. That's seven. Hold here. If you need to return to your bar for some stability, go for it. Otherwise, just tuck your hips, tuck. Option, pull your elbows back eight times. So now these tucks, that heat that we made, they're helping to elongate this hip. Pulls down. Down, hold, one of four. Down, down, hold, two of four. So we're still using the contraction of the musculature to pump through your low body. Stay low, lift your front heel and lower. One of four, there's only four. We're trying to change the patterns to keep your mind engaged with your body. Lift your heel up, see if that feels good. Retuck your hips so you get that stretch. Lower down and up. Just 16 more like this. One, here's sensitive shoulder modification. Four, modification, low heel or to the ballet bar. Eight more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rotate center, four times, internal rotation. Three, four, change sides, pause. So just a little lace, tuck your hips. So you just lace to the other side, you add a little pop. If you missed it, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> Eight more, one. Catch it the next time. Three, four, five. Reminding your upper back to be strong. Option arm up, lift, remember? Option to find your ballet bar or wall. We want the small muscles to work but not be burdened. Pulse, pulse, hold. One of four. Down, down, hold. Two of four. On the hold, imagine a golden cloak wrapping you through your ribs, low stomach, and between your shoulders, just down and up to finish. And it is that wrap that really ignites that elegant posture, last 16 counts. So the upper body is blue, while the lower body refines its fire. Eight more counts. One, two, three. This is the end before your stretch. Five, six, seven, rotate out. And then from here, bend your knees. Just take a moment, and with your knees bent, open in your throat. Exhale, you can bring your hands up as well. 
Really feeling that stretch across your chest. Hold four more counts. One, two, three. And then from here, lengthen your right leg out. Pause in that position. Option to draw your other knee back behind you. Now, playful. We're hanging out here for about 10 more seconds because of the necessity to stretch this hamstring muscle that lives right from the knee up to your hip. So playing around, here's another option. If you have like a stool or a chair, press down on that to lift your chest. Then if you're really quite easily in this posture, playfully, so not like forcefully, but playfully see what a bind looks or feels like. And then turn towards the bent knee. So now you're in parallel. Stretch your back leg so that there's an energy of light out the sole of your foot or roll to the base of your thigh muscle, quadricep muscle, so not the knee bone, but tucked forward. We use those tucks, those dancers tuck, they serve us here as well. From either knee to the earth or knee lifted, bring your arms overhead. With your hands facing forward, pull your elbows down and open your throat. Retuck your hips, hold for four. One, two, three. Take a deep inhale. As you breathe out, bring your hands forward and down. Then shift back. Now here's another cool way to use a ballet bar or a stool or a bench. Your hands can come to it and that may lift you. Pause here if that's where you feel the most stretch without sacrificing by bending. So once your joints bend, you lose the stretch of the musculature and ligaments. So you want to keep them long. Option, just an option. Never a have to. Always a maybe. Always a, hmm, I wonder. Take another big breath. Option, arms up. Exhale, reach forward and down. Hold one of four, two of four. So we held that stretch for about 45 seconds with the hamstring. We needed that. Curl your toes under, roll your elbows in, stick your tailbone up. Inhale as though there is something drawing your hips skyward. Exhale into the stretch. Inhale your right leg up. Point your foot, exhale, come on in. Now let's remember that long muscles are strong muscles. And so we really need to reprogram if the mindset is in any way speaking to the idea that stretching is not working out hard enough. Stretching is working out smart. It's necessary. It's how the muscles are rebuilt. It's why we don't have to take three days off because we're sore, because the muscles are trying to do in three days what could be done in three minutes of stretch. So it's more efficient. Bring your hands back behind you. Come to your knees. Round up, step out to wide second. Plie down, so we're just moving through the levels and now to the other side. If you liked this workout, I have so many more, almost 100 videos on Embody Online, we started just a year ago. We have a beautiful community of people, a lot of whom are here, playing around on this side. So we have everything from 10 minute videos to 60 minute videos with equipment, no equipment, intense impact, no impact, but all based around this philosophy of sculpting, sweating, and stretching, of dancing our way through this life, of facing challenges together. And then from here, bring your arms up, pull your elbows back, take a deep breath, of becoming our best selves from the inside out and doing the work that it takes to get there. Bring your hands back down. Inhale your back flat, choose your surface or not. Take another long breath and then choose where you want to land. I got to say it one more time, where you want to land, what feels right for you. So this probably feels really tense and uncomfortable, in which case you can choose the option to modify. Or if you're just holding yourself back and in fact your body wants to open up, maybe it's allowing it, it's mentally giving it permission. Then four more counts, one. Option if you are in full split to descend. Glide back, bring your leg around behind you, Press to your downward facing dog. This inversion is gonna bring you much wellness for the day. Inhale your left leg up. How high can you get that beautiful leg as you breathe in? On your exhale, come to pigeon and flex your foot. Rotate the toenails of your back foot down and then explore where the hip opens. So our hips are a very complex part of the body. There are gluteal muscles and core muscles and leg muscles that all come together. So we need to ensure that blood flows there and that we've mobilized that space 
and then strengthened around that space so it can stay dynamic. And then bring your hands underneath your shoulders, press back, come to both knees, expand your legs out into wide straddle, lifting your throat, inhale, bring your right arm up, bend to the side. We learn to bend so when the winds shift, we don't gotta break. Sit up tall. Inhale up and feel yourself. Roll your shoulders back. Take a deep breath, feeling both your roots that connect you to the floor, that freedom of movement, but control in your center, and the lift from your heart and the top of your head. Just let your shoulders drop. We want to recognize duality in the body. Your core can be strong while your shoulders are soft. Your hips can be open while your back is lengthened. Inhale your arms up. Bring your hands down to prayer. Rest your prayer on your heart. Close your eyes and take a moment of stillness where you simply recognize again where you're at. You have more surrender. You are more deeply connected and if nothing else, your body has been energized through oxygen and movement. And as you move through today and maybe any day, continue to remind yourself that it doesn't matter how fast you're going if you're going in the wrong direction. And it doesn't matter how long it takes if you're going in the right one. So as you inhale, perhaps setting an intention for the day, what direction, ignore the speed, what direction do you wanna be moving today? Inhale, open your arms up. Allow that in, deep breath. Giving the speed permission to be whatever it needs to be so long that you're going the right way. Hands to the earth, let her catch you when you fall. Open your eyes to the sun and be in the light. Thank you so much for joining me for our 30 minute low impact bar workout. It's gonna be cataloged here on Pop Sugar Fitness's YouTube channel. Feel free to come back over and over and over and over. And if you want more from me, you can check me out at M Body, like M like Marnie, Body, online. We have lots of videos, almost 100 since last year. Um, we just started when, when our studio shut down, actually. So welcome to our new world. It's such a beautiful place with a literally global community. So many of you who are here today, thank you. Thank you very much. If you want to find me on Instagram, I'm Marnie Alton. Pretty simple, A-L-T-O-N. And if you want to show me who you are, I'd love to get to know you. So hashtag EmbodyGlobalFam. That's our hashtag. And we all find each other there. We share advice. We talk to one another. We support each other. Thank you for being here again. We'll see you soon.